presentation. Smiles everyone. Smiles, he added an extra smiles to it. Help me to welcome our educator today, Dan Collier. Dan, welcome to the lecture. Yes, it's pizza. Hi, Mr. Toastmaster, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Smiles, everyone, smiles. As I was growing up, there was a television show called Fantasy Island. And on this island, everybody's fantasies came true. Well, as Z Plane approached this <laughs> island every week with the guests who were going to stay there for the week and have their fantasies come true, the boss, the leader of the island, Ricardo Montebello, would, Montalban. Montalban, Montalban, would instruct his crew, his team, to prepare for the guests in such a manner. Smiles, everyone, smiles. Now today I'm going to tell you why your smile is imperative in your role as a speaker and communicator. Why it is vital in your role as a leader. And then I'm going to ask you to participate in a little exercise whereby you will find your most impressive smile ever. All right. Now, starting with communication, whenever we, whenever we look at somebody and create a facial expression, we are in fact putting together a packet of information that is received, read, and interpreted. And the smile is the most basic human contact. As a speaker, the most important thing you can do is connect with the audience. The fastest way to connect, the fastest way to connect is with a smile. Think for a moment. Jose Luis, what do you think of? That smile when he comes up here and connects with you. Yes, that is the fastest way to do it. And when it comes to leadership, many of you are leaders in your work or in the community. If you are not a leader today, you aspire to be, and that's why you're coming here, is it not? Yes. Well, as a leader, connecting with your team, connecting with the people who are going to follow you is absolutely imperative. Whether you realize it or not, when you're a leader, all eyes are upon you. This I discovered in my own pizza business, because I would intentionally, before I walked into a store, put on my smile, wear my smile and improve. In fact, when I forget to, often, one of my team members will say to me, Esta enojado? Well, <laughs> Raul, what does this mean? Esta enojado? Are you mad? Am I mad? <laughs> well, I am mad, but am I angry? <laughs> well, the very first thing I would do when I heard that from my crew is I would turn on my smile and answer them, no, I'm not angry, I just forgot to tell my face. <laughs> now, how is it that you are going to find your best, your most powerful smile ever with an exercise that we're going to go through right now? There are 43 muscles in your face, and just like any muscle, for it to work, for those 43 muscles to work well, you have to stretch them first. If you're going to run, for example, you stretch your legs. So we're going to stretch the 43 muscles in our face to find our best smile ever. Now, I don't recommend doing this in front of other people. In fact, one time I was doing this on my way to Sandpipers, and I noticed the person in the car next to me at the stoplight <laughs> looking at me, and I realized I won't ever do that again. <laughs> However, if we're all doing it, then we're not foolish, are we? Now, to demonstrate, I will go first. What I'm going to do is I'm going to smile. Then I'm going to exercise the 43 muscles of my face in the most intense smile that I can come up with, and we're going to do that for 15 seconds. And at the end, I'm then going to try that smile again. Right after my cramp, I recover. I'm going to try that smile again. You will discover how powerful that smile can become. So we begin by testing our normal smile. <clears throat> then I will demonstrate with a very strong smile. All 43 muscles. You want directional here. Okay, we do that for 15 seconds, and then we relax and we smile again. Wow, it just comes so easy now. So we're all going to do this together because then we won't look quite as foolish. Let's try now. On three, one, two, three, smile. If you don't look foolish, you're not doing it right. Come on. 
Raul, I love it. Yes. All right. Let's see what we should do it. Yes. We got 15 seconds going. Almost there. Timer, tell me when we're there. Yeah, you're there. <laughs> okay, relax. Exercise. And now try that smile again. Doesn't it come a lot more easily now? Absolutely. Especially first thing on a sandpiper. Sandpiper is boring. So, your smile, absolutely essential in your role as a speaker and communicator. Imperative in your role as a leader. And now that you know how to find that winning, winning smile, we'll expect that. Smiles, everyone. Smiles. This is Joe's